and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Aries for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Aries placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your read. Now offering seven day vigil candles burned on my personal altar for money, transformation, romantic love. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon. I post my personal spells on there. Collective spreads. Live streams. Oh, what's going on with Aries? I'll say this, Aries, listen to your intuition right now. Okay. All right, so let's start here with panic. Uh, don't panic when change happens. Sit back and allow yourself to calm down so that you can get a good grasp on things. You might find that this works out to your advantage. So I see you guys kind of like panicking about the state of something. Like I feel you guys kind of worried like something is going to go left. You've already decided that something isn't going to work out here. Hmm. We have settling. May the best man or woman, or woman win. Don't ever settle for less in any of your relationships or connections. You deserve the best. So reflect that in yourself and in others um, and to others you care about. And they cannot give you, if they cannot give you the best in return, um, let them go. Don't settle, Aries. We got issues. Uh, don't let other people's bad habits, hangups, low self-esteem low self-esteem <laughs> low self-esteem or demons bring you down just because they have issues and refuse to deal with them doesn't mean that you have to stick around and suffer with them leave people to deal with their own issues and main your center and your peace of mind that's just so true you guys you know 2021 here um this is just not the time anymore to allow yourself to be in situations where it's like your vibration is you know being lowered because there's so many things pulling out your vibration trying to kind of bring you down and make you feel away and you don't don't want to allow yourself to okay that would not be a good thing we have splurge it's okay to splurge on yourself every now and then don't feel ashamed of it spending your hard-earned money on yourself you deserve it yeah the universe is really saying focus all that energy attention and those materials that wealth that you have just feed it back into yourself during this time forgive Forgive, but do not forget. When you forgive, you not only release the negative energy towards the other person, but you release it towards yourself as well. However, do not forget the lesson so you do not have to repeat it. So yeah, forgive, but don't forget the lesson that you've taken away from it. Okay. And then we have control your emotions. Uh, don't act out of passion. Think about the consequences that your actions may cause instead of instantly reacting to things. Give it a little time to sink in a bit. Control your emotions and then react. So yeah, I felt this feeling of panic. We literally got the panic card. Um, and I feel like you guys are like, you know, I don't want to lose you. That's, this is how it feels. The best way to use it as an example is to personify it like with another person. I don't want to lose you, so let me settle here you know and the universe is like hey splurge on yourself you deserve it give that energy back to yourself give that money back to yourself don't put yourself in the position to take care of someone and then we have keep things to yourself i feel like it's time to tap into your intuition and keep your own counsel right now um keep some things to yourself you don't have to tell everyone everything about your life some things are meant to be kept between you and spirit and keep it that way yeah i don't I, you may be you know wanting to overshare or you may be wanting to you know talk to someone about what you're going through right now but i don't think it's the best thing to do and it's only because um someone may convince you like when people have that outside looking in kind of point of view like they're never going to tell you like all the way like no 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 this is horrible unless they've seen it firsthand you know if you've experienced things and you haven't told people those things you can't expect people to give you a well-rounded answer i feel like it's time to keep your own counsel aries that's a lot but i'm gonna take them oh my goodness more than i even thought 
Wow. Okay, let's get to the major arcana. Yeah, there's definitely some temptation. Um, but Aries, you're stronger. We have the strength card, but we have the devil here, you know. There's definitely some, some temptation. And it's funny that we're using the cat tarot today because the devil card is the dog. And that would definitely make a cat panic, you know, and run away and, and act spazzy. So there's definitely a hefty amount of temptation here. Like, do not underestimate what's coming towards you. You're going to want to act out of, you know, fear. But you do have the strength to overcome this. Let's see. Hmm. We have judgment in reverse, the sun in reverse, and the world in reverse. So I see you guys about to act on something or engage in something that just isn't best for you guys. Everything is always a lesson. There's always something that you can take away from certain situations. But, I mean, why, you know, engage in lessons if you don't have to type of thing? Hmm. Got a lot of wand energy. We got the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. So to be honest, you guys, you have all the tools that you need to get you through the situation and make the most balanced um, decision. These wands, I look at them as lessons that you've dealt with with a certain person, with a certain job, a friend, however this applies to you. Like whoever you're trying to hang on to even though you know you shouldn't or whatever it is. It could be a bad habit. A old way of thinking, settling back into like comfortable paradigms and self-limiting beliefs that you used to subscribe to, you used to walk by. Hmm. Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Swords. Yeah, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of temptation. I honestly, if I had to say, I feel like you guys are making the wrong decision in something and the universe is trying to warn you about it. There's something that's coming up this week that's going to be very tempting. I'll say that. And you're going to want to do it. Think about every decision that you make outside of like your routine this week because it's important. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is the final boss. This is the final boss, King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So the universe is like, have you truly learned your lessons? Are you truly in your masculine energy in terms of uh, romance and love and how you view yourself, you know, self-love? You got to be in a masculine energy, Knight of Swords um, type of energy to get through this one, you guys. Page of Swords in reverse, like this ain't your first rodeo, but this isn't a joke anymore. Hmm. And I feel like it's not even something scary. I just feel like it's a, how can I explain? Like a, a very tempting energy because it's like, with this energy, it's going to stick around for a while. Okay, we have unrequited love that just came out. This energy is going to stick around for a while. At the bottom of the deck, that's so funny. I never put these upright when I put them down. But at the bottom of the deck, we have worth waiting for. The bottom of this card, it says divine timing is at work in your love life, you guys. I'm going to keep this so I can remember it was there, but that's definitely, definitely a sign because I feel like you guys in this panic energy, um, the universe is like, control your emotions, slow down, Aries, because you're going to be tempted to make the wrong decision just so you can have a decision made or just so you can have something now. But I feel you kind of trapped here. Like, for an example, if this is a person walking into your life or someone that you've known for a while, if you decide to take them back this time, they're going to be here like, I don't want to say for the rest of your life, but it's going to be extremely hard to separate from this person. And I'm sure they'll, you know, make the deal look really, really sweet. And at the end of the day, we all have, you know, free will. So everything will be a lesson, like I was saying before. But honestly, I'm done with lessons. I'm done with that lesson energy personally. And I'm not going to ever tell anyone like, yeah take the lesson no <laughs> unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going is what it says at the bottom of that card oh let's see what else is going on for aries oh, that's crazy we have oh my goodness you guys i'm just the messenger Seriously, release your ex and you deserve love. At the bottom of release your ex, it says the time has come to clear your energy. This, these are literally the cards we have. Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. So if this isn't love, you deserve love. And it's time to release your ex. Get out of this cycle. We have keep an open mind and playfulness. 
the bottom of keep an open mind it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so this person is likely coming through in a way that you're not used to playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so you're not having fun i don't feel aries most of you guys in this relationship or in this situation you'll know what it is you'll know what's at the whatever is at the forefront of your mind like the first thing that you think of that's what we're talking about yeah we got to let that ballot balance judgment justice energy come through serendipity beautiful just let me learn This is happening in a very random, serendipitous kind of way, and it's worth waiting for. The romance that you're waiting for is worth waiting for. Serendipity and yang. Like I said before, we got the king of cups. Yang is the masculine energy of that yin and yang, okay? And uh, that king of cups, you're still leading from a place of love, but it's love for yourself. It's, it's, it's structured. It's logical, you know? Am I getting enough from this situation now versus intuitively I can feel like maybe something down the line will change and da 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 da, da. No, turn off that feminine energy, tap into that yang energy, and allow the serendipity to occur. It's going to be magical. It's going to be like a movie. And then we have peace and to be fair. I feel like you guys have the opportunity to um, get to a space of peace with the situation. I don't feel like this will be a situation that's going to stress you out and, you know, make you guys uncomfortable. Like, I feel like we can come to a peaceful resolution in this situation. Let's see what else we got. recognition happy news and editor okay yeah i just heard writing your own story so the universe is like giving you an opportunity to direct exactly how this is going to go without a tower moment without things coming crashing down or blowing up in your face or just being another lesson the universe is giving you the opportunity to really kind of um you know basically cause the change that's going to bring to you what it is that you want so make sure you write a good story okay for yourself editor your writing or other creative project benefits from outside uh help and support so allow the universe to help you this is a co-creation work with the universe it's sending you signs and signals and different opportunities to have conversations or to do things and definitely take them aries happy news your prayer your prayer is being answered in a creative way that's what serendipity is all about it's very magical it's very lucky it's a clover on this card. Um, so it's happening in a way unexpected. You gotta leave some room for that miracle energy. That's the only time you get that miracle, magical energy that's like a movie, you know? Recognition, you and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors. So the universe is blessing you for um, what you're doing here. The universe is definitely seeing like the effort you've put in and I see other people realizing it as well. People are noticing it. Um, the universe is noticing it. Universe, God, spirit, the divine, whatever you believe in. We have ascension that just came down here. So I feel like you guys have ascended. Good. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is interesting. We have past, present, and, present and future and sensual energy. I'll say you can read it. It's right there. This may be someone you're connected to in a sensual kind of way, which may be why you're so attached to the past. Um, maybe it's it's sacral. Some somehow there's some sort of sacral sacral tie, you know, sacral chakra, um, and then ascension and grounding. So now that you've ascended, it's time to ground yourself, plant yourself firmly in your new beliefs and your new life, and to move forward from here. See what we get. Ooh. Ooh. Now all the 
cards want to fall. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got overcoming obstacles and impasse. So it is a choice, Aries. You are going to have to make a choice not to panic and settle, um, but to handle your issues, you know, right away to forgive people so that you can disconnect from them to make it easier for you to control your emotions and to move forward in silence. Real G's moves in, move in silence like lasagna. Okay, Lil Wayne. Um, overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything. So yeah, we've been talking about about this you get it by now the universe is definitely in full support of you Aries you have everything you need to do this <coughs> and we had the page of wands the knight of wands the queen of wands you've been through these different cycles you've already been through these phases like you know how to handle this and you know where this is going to lead you in past uh, reflect and redirect your energy if you look at that card as well you can see the brick the brick wall there so I really feel like that devil energy is leading you somewhere that you don't want to be. And then we have unknown territory and cleansing waters. Unknown territory, you are exactly where you need to be. So, yeah, this is like the final countdown. Like, seriously, this is the final moment that we've all been waiting for. This is the final five minutes of the movie. And you're basically deciding, like, how we're going to write this ending. Uh, cleansing waters purification activates vibrant life force so I do see some purification coming through um, you know the universe kind of making making a way for you making it a little bit easier for you to make this decision but at the end of the day it is a choice but it's going to activate your life force making it easier for you to move on and start new so that was your reading Aries. oh my goodness that's tough um you have everything that you need to get through it dm my instagram in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading you can ask whatever question you want like this video please subscribe to my channel check me out on patreon in the description below i post my personal spells on there live streams collective spreads and i love you aries be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one <laughs>